Alright guys, I'm here to save you guys from Nextcloud Snap. For those who have already created Nextcloud and all your files are already there and now you think of changing the file location to another site, this is how you do it. I'm doing is from Windows, I'm sharing it to Hyper-V so that it's easier for us to manage. Before we begin, please subscribe, support me, show some love and let's start it now. Firstly, we gotta do is we gotta create shared folder. So now we will do turn on your features. In the features, make sure you turn on SMB. SMB turn on. Make sure internally everything is turned on also. Once you're done, depends on the system whether it wants to restart. Then we will need to allow sharing. So let's go in. Okay, so we are in the sharing. You can see where the directory coming to here. Then you go to all networks, expand it here. Over here, you can see turn on sharing. Tick this and allow it. Then you save changes and you're done. <coughs> so once you're done, you can start sharing your folder. For me, I'm going to share my desktop right here. Right here, I'm going to share one folder. I will type in Ubuntu much more easier to remember then I right click go to properties sharing advanced sharing share this folder permissions remove everyone I don't want anyone to see this for security reasons and now just put in your local user once you got your local user you allow full control because it is your server so admin should have full control right no one should block us from our own system so once we are done let's start it up i'm going to my hyper-v so here it is next cloud everything set up as a normal user would and once you set it up you have already done your files and have already saved everything and now you want to change your data directory you want to change all this into the shared folder so you can save it in windows and then you don't have to have any hassle to go through the ubuntu server so this is how you do it okay firstly you close next cloud once you close next cloud now you go into ubuntu server and mount the shared folder that is the time so now we go and update first. All right, before we start anything important, we need to update. Ubuntu server wants to update because it wants to be as shiny as possible, as new as possible, as crazy as possible. You need to upgrade. That's why I say Ubuntu wants to be as new as possible before it will ever start right guys so you guys can take a break drink some tea relax sleep then we will come back again right so let's start by installing sudo apt install sifs utils so you need to install mount utility before you can actually mount anything and we are done so let's start with the first part number one we should create a folder for which we are going to mount the windows shared folder now in next cloud snap they only allow mnt or media so it's either one you have to choose none other than these two so i'm going to choose is media so let's create a folder in media and let's name it win share super easy to remember super nice so now we are done you can actually check in the mc this is the file explorer for ubuntu server you go to media you can see win share right here so as i said before it's either this or mnt are we done now okay so now we will go into creating the credential files so that we don't have to type in every single time let's create a credential file nano etc win credentials credentials so make sure everything is correct
okay so we are done with the credential files now we need to do is put a permission on this set a permission on this folder on this file so let's set this let's see credentials okay then this right so we are done with the credentials files now we have to create we have to edit this file in order to automatically mount each time we log in to ubuntu server in hyper-v so let's edit this okay so we are in now we have to put in the folder of the windows in this file so let's name this we will write this as ubuntu this is our windows shared folder ubuntu so then now is our ubuntu mount path so let's go to media win share so this is where we are going to mount it then this just let it be default and then put in your credentials file name equals 0770 make sure it's all the same 0700 all right so that is all honky jury now is the moment of truth whether we can mount it if not then we might have done the wrong code all right it's mounted no error we are happy now let's start with inputting this code for snap to connect to any removable media this is very important sudo snap connect next cloud with removable media right let it connect right so now it's connected we can move on with setting up the permission for this so let's start sudo mk directory this one is to create a folder within the shared folder that we mounted so let's create it so that we know which path it's for so this is your win share and we are going to create a folder inside called next cloud uh, I think we should put uh, negative P. Okay, then we will do sudo chone negative R. Okay, so we are done with this. right so all of these are done now we restart the server this is to set the permission on it because if you don't restart sometimes it just doesn't apply the permission on the sh mounted folder and see and now we should have no permission to go in see that error cannot change directory but if you use the sudo code we can actually go in so that means only the root can and no others which 
share the next cloud see we've done it everything is good now is the time where we change the data directory first we stop the cloud the next cloud from running then we edit the file in the snap next cloud to change the location Right, so now we are in the next cloud configuration. We just need to change the data directory. As you can see, data directory. Delete this and put in your chosen path. That is the mount location. So remember the full location, wind share, next cloud. And then data. Okay. So why I put data is because we are going to move the data from the original location to the mount location. Now let's change it. Let's move the data from the original spot. Oh, far. to media uh, wind share next cloud right so I'm moving the data to my mount next cloud and it is data will be inside so if I were to sudo mc you should be able to see media wind share next cloud data look at that and then you can see all this old data that was transferred now is the time we start up the next cloud and we should see everything goes back to normal your admin come on right so it's on maintenance mode don't worry just let it run let it run right don't be worried it's still running its course breathe in breathe in it's got to reload again and we've done it ladies and gentlemen we have done it the one is here all right to not get it so excited let's go to users and create one and let's see if your shared folder created one so let's create a sales group right we're going to create a sales group we're going to create a sales folder and we're going to see whether does it work so let's do it the rock yes the rock is coming to my sales department rock okay so his email rock at rocket.com yeah add a new user it's running it's going it's done let's go everyone then we'll see rock john let's do it we are going to put him with he's already in sales yep he's already in sales don't worry now now let's see whether the rock is inside it's inside here all right come on baby show me rock john it's created here so everything should be working fine now let's go to the apps let's create and let's activate the group folder let's see group folder right here download we are going to create a group folder just as we do in windows where we create a folder share it to peoples and use the active directory to manage while this is so simple you just manage from the user and create a group folder that's all so in the settings you just let me find for the group go settings and then we can see group folders now we go for sales create 
put the group in of course admin needs to be in sales and that's it so let's go back to files and see the group folder appear right there you are sales let's put in so we can see that we created no problem I've moved no problem and now let's go in and create a document I am awesome this is an awesome sales team it calls because they are awesome so let's go to sales and now you have a bunch of this now let's go to desktop ubuntu next cloud data this is the group folders then it's always one i don't know why but here it is you see and then what you can see three four three four so if you want to check if you can open it and i think that answers your question does it work thank you all for watching famous cyberamus signing out click subscribe if you haven't click like go to the end of my video and click the playlist in the playlist there are all my videos all at the corner and the right side so thank you all for watching